I'm Danica. When we're in the library, we wear our masks to help keep everybody healthy. But I'm in a locked room right now. I put a sign on the door that said, please do not disturb. And I'm just going to be a few minutes. I'll put my mask on before I'm near anybody else. I'm really excited you're here today. I'm really glad that I live where I live here in Treaty 6 territory. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and learn and tell stories for thousands and thousands of years, since time immemorial. It's the home of the Cree and the Dene, the Nakoda, the Lakota, the Dakota, the Soto, and it's the homeland of the Métis. I love special days. And if you look at a calendar, you can see that there are lots of days that have something special about them. Today is a day that's kind of interesting. Today is Pretend you are a time traveler day. This program is called Adventurologist, and it gives us the opportunity to do some exploring. Today, we're going to use our imaginations. I love building things and creating things and having new ideas and new experiences. I found this really big box when I was working at one of the other libraries a few weeks ago, and I thought, this would make a really cool time machine. Check it out. I fit in this big box. Now, before we get too far ahead, I want to show you some books because anytime I want to learn something new, I borrow books from the library. When I wanted to learn how to make balloon animals, I borrowed books from the library. When I wanted to learn how to paint faces, I borrowed books from the library. When I wanted to learn a bunch of new stories, I borrowed books. So I went to the catalog and I looked up time machine books. I found some really cool ones. This one's called T-Rex Time Machine. It's by Jared Chapman. Look at that. That is a super cool time machine. I looked in the kids' books and in the adult books. I found this really cool book called How to Invent Everything by Ryan North. It's a survival guide for the stranded time traveler. So I think that means if you are time traveling and you find yourself somewhere where they don't have all the cool inventions that we're used to, you might be able to make something out of natural resources. Very cool. This one is called, It's Not a Bed, It's a Time Machine. It was written by Mickey Rapkin, illustrated by Teresa Martinez. I just want to read you a page because I love this. Don't be afraid of bedtime, Floppy said. This isn't a bed, it's a time machine. Think about it, Floppy said. You brush your teeth, get under the covers, and then what? Bam, it's morning. Where did the hours go? It's funny, time sometimes feels like it's going really fast, and sometimes it feels like it's going really slowly. I bet some of you like Minecraft. There's even a Minecraft Master Builder Time Machine book. It's independent and unofficial, but I know a lot of people who love Minecraft. Now, here's a book that's a little bit more complicated. How to Build a Time Machine, The Real Science of Time Travel. And this one was written by Brian Clegg. This one's a little bit longer, kind of a big book. I should read this one and then I'll learn even more about time travel. Here's another fun picture book, The Trouble with Time Travel, written by Stephen W. Martin, illustrated by Cornelia Lee. Hmm. I wonder if I'm gonna have any trouble today. I found my little hourglass. Now, it's kind of like a stopwatch, I don't think it actually takes an hour for the sand to run from one to the other side. Maybe more like two minutes. I don't think I'm going to 
do much to my time machine. I like it just the way it is. I thought about maybe drawing some dials and some years, but I wonder what will happen if I just close myself up inside and use my imagination and think about going to another place. Let's see. Oh my, it's too scary. I think I'm going to go back in. Whoa. Look at that. This is so interesting. What am I wearing? This looks really old but it's in really good shape. Look at this suitcase. I think my grandma had one of these when she was little. This is interesting. Oh, look, over there. Wow. What do you see? I see tents, lots of tents and people. There was a train, more tents on the train. I, I wonder where we are. Oh, that street says Saskatoon under it. And more tents and buildings. We must be a long time ago. Oh, look at that baby, so cute. And those kids, their clothes are so different. Wow. That's so cool. I wonder if there's anywhere else I can go in this time machine. sure look different. What am I wearing? I wonder why I'm wearing this. Hmm. Look over there. Isn't that cool? Look at those cars. Are they ever interesting? And that building. I wonder what it is. I wonder what time we're in. Those cars look like they might be from the 1930s. That's a big, huge building. Do you know what it is? I think it's here at Saskatoon. It's almost a hundred years ago. Look at all those bricks. They're working really fast. Wow, the building is going up right before our eyes. Can you recognize it? I think I know what it is. Look at the towers. Look at the brick on the front. Those trees aren't there anymore, I don't think. But I think when I walk down by the river, downtown, I walk right past it. Looks like it's almost done in this picture. Oh, it sure is nice. Looks kind of like a castle. Do you know what it is? Take a look. There's the river right behind it. It's the Besborough. 
Oh, it's such a nice building. Wait a minute. That was the hotel. That's what I'm dressed up like. I'm dressed like a bellhop. The people that would carry the suitcases. Up to your hotel room. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. No, sir. Hmm. That would have been a hard job, running up and down the hallways, up and down the stairs, and taking the elevators. I wonder if they had elevators in the Besboro when they first built it. Hmm. There's so many questions I could ask if I could talk to somebody when I'm traveling in time. Well, on to the next stop. this cool sweater. Wow. And look what I found. It's a really old Archie comic. Hey, my sweater kind of looks like some of the sweaters that the people wear in this, in these comic books. Cool. Look what else I found. It's an old phone. Maybe I can order some food. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Hello? answering. That's still cool. Hey, look at that. Wow. Mmm. Cafe chocolate shop? That sounds delicious. I wonder why we don't have a cafe chocolate shop anymore. Oh, that must be inside. And look at the theater. I wonder what movie is playing. Before you went to the movie, you could have a snack in the concession area. How cool is that? Look at all those chairs. You could make all kinds of friends just having your lunch. I wonder what they served. I hope it was hamburgers and fries. Look at all those cool places to sit. Can you see that sign back there? It says Pineapple Sundays, 15 cents. And look at all those people enjoying a delicious meal. I wish there were cafes like that around these days. Did you see that? That would be so fun to sit on those stools and have ice cream. Mm. I'm going to try this phone one more time. Okay. Hold it up. Four. Four. Two, one. Hello? Hello? No answer. Oh well. Let's see if I can find anything else cool. was so cool. What do you think? I think I'm a little bit hungry. Maybe I'll have to go find a snack now. But I'm going to try this time machine again sometime. I hope you have something that you can make into a time machine. Maybe you'll find some old pictures, some books. A lot of the pictures that we looked at today came from the local history room at the Saskatoon Public Library. And you can find a lot of those online. Thanks for watching.
Hopefully I'll see you again in the not too distant future.